Hey guys, so today I'm going back to the GTEC E180. Uh, recently I was, I went to do a tr uh, print and I noticed that the screen went blank on me. So today I want to try to figure out how come. Now, I turned this on about five minutes ago. It took about two minutes and the screen lit up. Before that it was just black. So let me just power it back off. I'm going to power it on. Now what usually makes that little tone Usually the screen comes up, it says E180, all that. As you can see, it's blank. But if I leave it on for a little bit, it will actually flash and come on, but it will not have any print on it. It'll just be a backlit screen. And there it is. Nearly a minute into it, it came on. As you can see, the screen is just a backlit screen. It doesn't have any print on it. So what I want to do is I want to get into it and try to figure out what it is. Now... From what I understand, this panel here just comes off, so I'll probably need a screwdriver, just a flat-headed screwdriver, to get it started. Uh, actually, it looks like it's a little bit loose down there. Yeah, there we go. Yep, it's just clipped into place with these little clips on that piece. Yeah, there's not a whole lot right there. The screen is nearly impossible to get to. There's a memory card there. Maybe that just needs to be reseated. I wonder why there's a memory card there whenever the memory card goes back there. Well, let's just try it. Nope, that didn't bring it up. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to look at connectors and stuff like that. I'm going to pull that plug. Let me just go ahead and pull these and see what happens. At this point, the printer is not working for me, so I need to either fix it or I won't be able to use it anyway. So what have I got to lose, right? Let's see. There we go. Okay, so we have a fan. Just plugged in right there. Just disconnect the fan and then put that to the side. Let's see. Our screen is over here. There's a ribbon cable that runs from there to there. So I'm going to try reseating the ribbon cable. And I'm trying to do this where you can see it on camera. I don't know if there's a way I can do that so you can see it. Can I see my finger? Nope. <laughs> this is a very difficult setup, that's for sure. Now it looks like if I wanted to, I could remove screws from there and there, side screws here, so I like that to pull the plastic portion of it off, but the thing is it will do me no good in this case, I don't think. Let's see, how about this way? Okay, you can see a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ribbon cable right here, I'm going to disconnect it and then reconnect it. See if that will you just open a little door on it, pull the ribbon from it, put the ribbon back in, and then close the little door back up. And that grabs the ribbon. I'm going to do the same thing to the one right over here. Once again, it's in a very difficult position. So I'm going to open the door gently. I'm going to reseat the ribbon cable. Almost had it. I'm just going to take the screwdriver. I'm not going to push in so it's digging in. I'm just going to try to use it to 
press in on the edge of it. Let's see if I can close that little door. Okay, that feels like it's seated. I'm not going to put the bottom on just yet. I just want to see if it'll turn on now that that's been reseated. Okay, power cable's plugged in. Still nothing. I just want to see if it lights back up after one minute. Well, it's been well over a minute again and still no backlight. So I've either messed something up or something bad has happened here. <laughs> I'm going to play with this a little bit more and see if I can get something. So I may cut this part out of the video. Still recording? Yeah. Guys, I just did a no-no and it worked. Hang on. So what I did is I disconnected that ribbon cable. I pressed it back in. You can hear it reset and it came on. I don't know what the story is behind that. Let's see. And now it's working. I'll leave it off for just a moment. I should have left the camera on just about 30 seconds longer. <laughs> now it's working. Okay, so apparently, same as a hot swap on it, made it reset or something? I don't know. I honestly don't know what to tell you about it. But, let's see, everything seems to be functioning, let's see if I can turn the fan on, just something so I can make sure that I'm getting something working through the board, I hear the fan ramping, yep, so I'm getting, getting control from the, on the printer. So, I'm guessing if you're having this problem, take the base off and hot swap it from there. Disconnect it from there. That would be the easiest connector to get to. And then reconnect it while the printer is on. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to tell you. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and button it back up and I'll start a print and see if it still continues to work. Now, if I can just remember how it went back together. To get it going. I know, I do not like a plastic housing like that. Okay, now it's working. Now, if I turn it off and I turn it back on, will it work? Okay. It's working. Oh, if you can hear it that click to it. I never, I don't have to click it. That's weird. Okay, let's go to control. No, nope. let's go up here to settings. No, nope. it's been a while since I've played with this. There we go. I just want the hot end. I want to heat it up. Okay, I'm going to let that heat up, and then I'm going to swap out the filament, and let's try printing something just to see if it'll print. Well, 
Well guys, it worked. It uh, completed the print just fine. Uh, now the moment of truth, and now that it's done, let's go ahead and turn it off and see if the screen comes back on. Mm, the screen was a little bit messed up there for a moment, but it's working. <laughs> I honestly don't know why that worked, but whatever it was, it worked. So that's the main thing. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you get a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you'll be able to take and purchase merchandise like this from my Tee Public store, or go to the Amazon affiliate and be able to purchase that merchandise from there. Every little bit helps the channel. I sure appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. If you'd like to support the channel, please check out my Patreon page over here. And if you'd like to watch my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh yeah, you're going to love them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.